Devil May Cry 5 is so fucking cool. I love this game. It has recently come out, and I've recently beat it, and I have recently not been able to stop thinking about it since I have done so. I don't want to make this a review of Devil May Cry 5. I'm not going to go over what it does right or wrong. Plenty of people have already done that to death. I just want to make this a video on why I think this game is so damn cool. This video will contain massive spoilers, and I will try to not compare this game to other DMC games. This is purely about Devil May Cry 5. Devil May Cry 5 is the coolest game that I have played in a really long time. Wait, actually, I'm pretty sure that purely in terms of what the game allows you to do, this is the coolest game that I have ever played. Wait, smoking isn't cool anymore. Even the game says so. The first thing I want to talk about before I get into the main course is the game overall. Devil May Cry 5 doesn't have the most amazing story. There are two things going on here. The main overarching thing is that there is a big bad demon who has planted a tree that kills everything and he wants to take over the human world. It's up to Dante, Nero, and newcomer V to stop him. Then you have the secondary plot which starts with this line. Dante calls Nero a deadweight and the whole game or at least all the time playing as Nero, is centered around saving Dante so that you can tell him to go fuck himself and also beat the big bad demon before he does to prove that you're cool too. It's the most petty shit ever, and I love it. This borderline nonsense of a plot is amazing because the game knows what kind of game it is. Over-the-top action where the characters left danger in the face with such one-liners as Sorry, Dante. I'm back in this bitch. Cheer up, crew cut. You taking notes? Oh, easy there, fella. Hey, I remember a stinky little pooch just like you. Come on, little puppy. I'll take you out for a walk. Come on, let's go. Mainly the things Dante says. Nero tries to sound cool, but Dante just makes it look too easy. Especially this line. Rest in peace, little chicken. It's been a bash. That's the coolest fucking line ever. I want to say that whenever I leave a party or something, or like, on my deathbed. DMC5 never takes itself seriously until the end of the game, where it becomes a cute family drama slash reunion thing, but other than that, everything in this game is just played off as the characters goofing around. This game has genuinely funny moments that actually made me chuckle. Hey, wait, 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 wait! We could use that! Pick it up! Not that one, the other one! Uh, this uh, one? Uh, next to it! Come on, Nico, this one? Sure. Not gonna die my ass. Oh, that bitch slap nearly killed me. I love how they made the character of V cool as well. V is literally the edgelord's wet dream. He wears all black, has black emo hair, and tattoos all over his body. He wears a studded bracelet, he reads and speaks in poems, he has an ability to read poetry in the middle of a fight, he fucking controls demons, you thought Hiei from Yu Yu Hakusho was edgy. You thought Sasuke from Naruto was edgy. V takes the edge to the next level. He's the spokesperson for Edge Shave Gel with lines like, What evil lurks? I must destroy. This character that is normally so hard to take seriously is one of my favorite new characters to come from a video game. There's just something about him. He has this swagger about him that is just cool. It's probably the Pimp King. He's laid back and stabbing a demon and then saying something like this. Deep into that darkness peering, longing I stood there wondering, fearing, doubting, is kind of badass. I love V. He's awesome. Okay, now let's talk about the combat. DMC combat is known for being good. It's kind of the whole point in what makes Devil May Cry, well, Devil May Cry. DMC5 is so much freaking fun, I didn't want to stop playing it. You play as three different characters, Nero, V, and Dante. Nero is a more streamlined version of the combat. You can do flashy shit without the need to change styles and weapons like Dante. I'll get to that in a second. Nero has his sword combos and his gun, but the thing that makes him so much fun is the new Devil Breaker mechanic. Nero can change his new mechanical arm with various versions to do different things in combat. It gives you so many things to work with, and it's the coolest thing. The over-the-top abilities that you can do with these things is just ridiculous. Just to name a few off the top of my head, you have Gerbera, which allows Nero to do these elegant-as-fuck flips in the air accompanied by this ultra-satisfying shockwave sound, and if you charge it up, you can shoot a giant laser. There's the Tomboy, which allows you to supercharge your weapons and go flying around the stage and slamming into enemies. You have Punchline, which allows you to shoot your arm like a homing missile and hit the enemies repeatedly, 
but, and get this, you can ride the fucking arm like a hoverboard and do tricks with it. This is the coolest fucking game, man. It's also cool that after you beat the game once, you get Nero's Devilbringer ability, and you can use it on enemies to get context-sensitive grabs, and I'm pretty sure there's a unique grab for most of the enemies in the game. I know that you can do that with the Buster Arm, but I prefer the Devilbringer. It looks way cooler. You can also get a little Devilbringer punch after most, if not every attack, if you time it right. Nero has this ability called X-Act, which allows him to rev up his sword like a motorcycle for some reason, because it's fucking cool, and do extra damage and also change up your moveset slightly. But, if you hit the rev button at just the right time after you swing the sword, you can get a max charge instantly and it's the most satisfying sound. Nothing tops being in the middle of a combo, getting a max act, and then launching the enemy up in a flurry of flames with Nero flipping like a graceful dancer. It's just so fucking satisfying to pull this shit off. V's combat is the most different out of the three playable characters. Instead of diving headfirst into the fight and dishing out sweet combos, you use your demon pals to fight for you. You have the birdie, the kitty, and the elemental hero Mudball Man. You use these guys to dish out sweet combos while V sits back and recites poetry and deliver the final blow with poetry. V's combat isn't as complicated as Nero or Dante's, but it's not to say it's any less fun or satisfying. It's more laid back. There isn't really much else to say about V's combat. Just attack, teleport in, and then attack some more. Oh, and fun fact that I discovered on accident while getting sweet footy for this video, you can deflect attacks with his cane. V rocks, can't wait for the mixtape. Dante is ridiculous. You can do so much shit with him, it's insane. You can switch between four different fighting styles, switch between several different melee weapons and several different guns, and you can do this all on the fly in the middle of a combo. I suck playing as Dante. You have to have the dexterity of a world-class pianist to be good with Dante. I see these combo videos of people playing as Dante, and they're on a whole new level than me. With the jump canceling, the switching the weapons after pretty much every hit, the keeping the enemy airborne for like, a decade, it's like a dance. It's honestly mesmerizing watching high-level play of Dante. I wish I was that good. Due to my lack of skill with Dante, I can't say much other than explain what he does. I try to do cool things with Dante, but I just look like a fucking dumbass while trying to do so, and spaghetti just like flies out of my pockets or something like that. I'm just gonna show some combo videos that aren't mine to show how cool he is. And of course I'm gonna, you know, credit the person who did it. I love this game, if that wasn't clear. This game has so many things to just make it so charming and full of personality, it's the little details that really get me going. You can put Nero's hood up and it won't fall down unless he gets hit, Nero screaming fuck you every time you activate his devil trigger, the animations and the way the characters look while they're fighting, you can pause the game at literally any moment during a fight and it'll be a badass photo. If you swing your sword and then run around for a bit, you keep it out for a second before putting it on your back. And if you're holding Devil Sword Dante, it'll teleport onto your back. If you lock onto an enemy and jump sideways, you do this really cool butterfly flip. When you're in the main menu, you can see the characters just hanging out and doing their thing. If you zoom into V's book while he's reading it, you can see that it actually has pictures and words on the pages. V actually turns the pages while he's reading. When you enter the sprint animation as V, he surfs on his shadows. Dante's giant pendulous dick. When you're in combat, the music depends on how well you're doing and how high your rank is. And it's so satisfying to land a hit, get the S rank started, and then the music just swells. This scene... The fact that Dante does this when he gets the Faust hat, and nobody bats an eye at it, and instead just stands there like it's something that Dante does all the fucking time, is just hilarious. It's little details like this that make the game so endearing. Not just this game, but all games. Games like Persona 5, God of War, The Last of Us, Sekiro, the Bioshock series, Dark Souls, and Bloodborne. These games aren't perfect. Wait, scratch that last one. Bloodborne is perfect. Don't at me. These games have so much passion and heart put into them. You can just feel it as you play. It's the little things that make games like Devil May Cry 5 so lovable and make them memorable and able to stand out. Devil May Cry 5 is so fucking cool, and I think that's like my 20th time saying that sentence. While getting footage for this video, I was going out of my way to do quote, cool things, and it was incredibly fun and easy. I was doing these sweet maneuvers with Nero, I did this cool thing with the V, where I had a triple S rank, and when you're playing as V, and you get it a triple S rank, and you taunt, he starts playing the air violin. And the timing was just perfect enough to where V stopped playing the violin, the music died down, his hair turned back to normal, and Mudball Man faded away. 
It was one of the most cinematic things I was able to do in a video game with just the gameplay. You'd normally see shit like that in cutscenes. This game is full of moments like that. I considered myself pretty decent with Nero until I saw high level play as him. Like, fucking look at this shit. This is what the game is capable of. I love this game, for the 73rd time. From the ridiculous opening credits, to the final scene with Dante and Virgil, to the ending with Nico and Nero, Devil May Cry 5 knows what kind of game it is, and it doesn't give a fuck. And to top it all off with just how cool this game is, the whole point of Devil May Cry is to kill demons and look fucking badass while doing it. I guess I could have just summed it all up with that instead of making a whole video about it. Fuck it. Oh, and the last scene with Dante and Virgil sums up the whole game pretty much. It's fucking awesome. Don't you dare 